Okay, hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trade People's Tips. We have a Vauxhall Mocha on a 15 plate that we're going to show you to do your levels check. Right, so we're going to start off with our expansion tank. This is our expansion tank. This is where you put your coolant in. Now, it's got two arrows on the side there and a line going across. Now, yes, where your level should be, but because we're doing something on the vehicle, it's a bit over, so we won't worry about that, but that's where it should be. Don't worry, no lower than that. There, it's okay. All right, inside here, you just pop that up, and that's where your screen wash goes. This one looks a bit low. You can just about see the foam in it, but we, had, we just put some in it. All right, after that, we come back across here, we have our dipstick. Your dipstick just pulls out like that. Now, what are you supposed to do? You pull it out, then you wipe it clean, and this top notch, which is that just there, these are kind of your levels of the amount of oil is in your vehicle. So you should be just on the top notch, okay? So, but we haven't, we've just been running the engine, so we'd have to let it settle down and everything because we're trying to solve a coolant leak at the moment or a airlock in the system. Okay, we move on from there. And over here is where you have your brake fluid. All right, so that just on screws, just twist and it pops up and there it is. If your brake fluid level is down, just inside there you can see the mark just down there. And on here it says maximum. So if your brake fluid level is low, first thing you do before you top it up, you need to check your brake pads to find out if they're worn. Because as they wear, the levels drop. And when you put new ones in, you push your pistons back in the caliper and your levels will rise again. Okay? If it's low and it's not the cause, you've got a leak somewhere you need to investigate. It's sharpish. And that's about it that you can do for yourself. Just down here, you have one connector. And up here, you have another connector. That's for your um, air conditioning. If your air conditioning is not working and needs regassing, that's where they would connect the pipes up to. Uh, apart from that, there's nothing else I can tell you. Your fuse box is over here. Here's your big old battery. That's it. Just make sure when you put your dipstick back, you put it in properly. Um, wiper blades and stuff like that, I think we'll do that in another video. But for now and for today, thanks for joining us on Trades People's Tips. See you again soon. And for those who are out there robbing people, have a conscience. Stop doing it. Yeah? See you later.